It all started when a friend on Facebook sent me a message asking me why I had liked the Conservative Party of Canada. I said I didn't know what she was talking about. After all, I'm a journalist. I wouldn't publicly endorse any party. As a rule, I do not like anything, unless it's a picture of a real friend's children. Very nice. Say, on their first day of school, something like that. But when I checked my activity log, there it was. So how could this happen? As it turns out, very easily. And you won't even know, that's the thing. Is um, It's very insidious in how it can happen, and it's also very quick. There are lots of people, companies out there selling likes. Something as simple as clicking on a video could trigger the software or malware that's embedded. And unless someone tells you, or you check your settings, you wouldn't know anything about it. So if I look at a page and I see they have one million fans versus a competitor's page who has only 500,000 fans, it might sway me to think that they are more popular um, than they are claiming to be. So we'll need lots of these in the... Constance Pop loves chocolate, but as a chocolatier, it left a sour taste in her mouth when a friend told her she too had somehow liked the Conservative Party of Canada. The Conservative Party of Canada, and they asked if I if I purposely liked it. And they were upset. And, and I said no, and I, I found myself having to defend that I, I really didn't do that. So the next question is, are political parties buying fake, phony likes on Facebook? The Greens, Liberals and the NDP all say pretty much the same thing. We don't buy likes. The Conservative Party's Director of Communications, however, said this. On that question, they said it's an internal party matter. Facebook is aware of the problem, but with over four and a half billion likes each day, it can't catch everything. If you need to find out if you too have been unwittingly liking stuff on Facebook, go to the activity log in your settings, click on likes and page likes, and check it out. You may wind up having to unlike something you never really liked in the first place. Red Sharon, CBC News, Winnipeg.